winding mountain roads and falling temperatures. Intense weather conditions and difficult terrain are hampering relief efforts in Afghanistan, which is already facing a deteriorating humanitarian crisis following the Taliban's takeover last August. Convoys are slow to arrive in the remote southeastern region, where many civilians have lost everything. Ten members of my family were killed. My brother's entire family was killed. None of them survived. Some aid has made it to the cut-off areas, mostly from neighboring countries. Pakistan sent eight trucks loaded with food and first aid, and Iranian military planes delivered the first batch of its aid package. As of now, 600 tents and 800 blankets have been delivered. Iranian Red Crescent workers and doctors will go to the areas that were hit by the earthquake with two of our army planes. Even before the Taliban's takeover, the aid-dependent country's emergency response teams had been stretched to deal with frequent natural disasters that strike throughout the country. It is not only the two provinces of Paktika and Hrust that are affected, it also affects many other neighborhoods, and there are also floods throughout the country. We're currently facing huge problems. The Taliban is asking for more international aid to prevent further catastrophes, putting Western countries in a difficult position as they do not want to directly benefit the government. The UN has called on the Taliban to facilitate the work of humanitarian organizations on the ground.